Alright, this is part two, guys. Well, I was just to get my coffee. Do you guys want me to continue talking about the 17? Or do you want me to talk about the girl and I don't know. I kind of want to talk about the 17 in a way. I don't feel like talking about the girl and dog today. I saw I would in my, in my my in my earlier part, but I mean, I've talked about my seventeen many times too, though, right? Yeah, I could talk maybe about seventeen, maybe five minutes. I'll talk about the girlfriend dog. Yeah, that's why whenever I work at all these restaurants, everybody slacks off. Everybody slacks off, obviously. They all slack off because they don't get paid uh, much, much money. I have why they slack off because they don't get paid as much. <laughs> they get shitty money. You make like fifteen an hour working as a waitress or a waiter. You only make like I don't know six hundred, seven hundred every two weeks. But you make like I don't know like a hundred bucks a day, hundred fifty bucks a day tip. You're making pretty good money for yourself, obviously. You what? They're not going to work as hard for you. They're going to slack off, obviously. The kitchen staff is going to slack off. If you're a dishwasher and you make 15 an hour, they're, 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 they're going to slack off, obviously. Whereas if you pay a dishwasher like 25 an hour, 30 an hour, they would work really hard for you. 40 an hour, they would work really, really hard for you because they're getting paid. They're making like an 80, 90, 70, 100,000 dollars a year paycheck. They would work hard for you, but the restaurants can't afford to pay dishwashers that kind of money. That's all their like profits gone. They can't do that, obviously. You pay the line cooks like seventeen an hour. They're not going to work as hard for you. They'll work hard, but they're not getting as much money. They're only making like forty k a year, thirty seven, thirty eight, forty k a year. They're not going to work as hard for you because they're not getting. It's not a great paycheck. It's okay. It's not bad, but it's not great. You make like eleven hundred, twelve hundred every two weeks. You have a seven hundred dollar a month apartment bill to pay, and you also have your car payments. You got your cell phone payments. You have to buy your food. Yeah, they only have like maybe a couple hundred bucks to spare. It's not that much money, man. That's what I'm saying. That's why they all slack off, obviously. Ivan, do you see it happening? Yes, I see it happening everywhere I work. Every time I work at restaurants, I always catch everyone slacking off. <laughs> the waiters are supposed to dump the food in the garbage. They don't do it. Sometimes they don't do it. They all slack off, yes. You know what I'm saying? The kitchen staff are supposed to mop a certain area, but they make the dishwasher do it because they're lazy, obviously. Yes. The kitchen staff are supposed to mop. I remember when I worked at Beer Market, the the the, the, the what? The the, 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 the the line guys were so lazy, they made me pick up the, do the pan pickups. When I get a pan pickup, I'm like, why don't you bring the pans yourself, man? You're fucking like I'm wash. I have a lot of dishes to wash. Why don't you bring the pans yourself? And they make you bring the pans because they're lazy, obviously. Whereas at least at Coco Fruity, all the line guys who work in the in the kitchen, they all bring the the dishes to the dish pit. Whereas at at, at Beer Market, the line the line guys were so lazy they made you pick up the pans. I'm like, what? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sometimes I, I bring the the kitchen dishes. I bring the kitchen dishes from from at Coco Fruity office. They tell me, oh, Ivan, there's dishes in the, in the sink. Bring it, and I bring them sometimes. Most of the times they bring me the dishes. Was there? They bring me the dishes, obviously. That's the reality, man. If you pay these guys shitty money, they're going to slack off. They're not going to work as hard for you. They'll work hard for you, but they're going to slack off more. They're not going to work as hard for you. I catch everybody slacking off. You know, some guys are supposed to mop. They make the dishwasher mop because they're lazy, obviously. They, they, they don't want to do the work, obviously, because they're lazy. You know what I'm saying? And that's how you know, like, it's, it's like, man, especially if it's super busy and you make me mop, I'm like, man, why don't you mop yourself, man? Like, that's fucking busy. I have to wash all these dishes. And if it's super busy, they won't make you mop because you don't have time to mop. The, the weekends, that's the thing I like about weekends. The weekends, I don't have to worry about mopping the front of the restaurant because I'm busy washing all the dishes. Whereas weekdays, if it's not that busy, they'll make you mop. Later on during the day, and but I'm like, they can easily mop it themselves. They're just lazy. They don't want to do it. Obviously, sometimes they'll do it, but sometimes they'll make you do it because they're lazy. That's the reality of being a dishwasher. If you're a dishwasher, everybody takes advantage of you. Um, they make you take out the garbage. They 
They make you, yeah. They make you do all that stuff, yeah. If you're a dishwasher. Obviously. That's my point, yeah. Whereas for my company, I don't have to worry about the, my 17 slacking off like that. They'll kick back some days, obviously. Like, second year when me and Vijay are not at the office, you're going to see them kicking back a little bit because me and Vijay are not in the office. But John Favre and Dave Filoni will be watching them. Look, man, John, I want you watching them. If they slack off, let me know. Make sure they're not slacking off. Okay, Ivan, yeah, make sure you don't abuse your breaks, too. Sometimes they might abuse their breaks maybe for a minute, maybe. The countdown goes down, they, 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 they're outside for maybe another minute. Like, John, please, make sh John, Dave, please make sure you don't abuse your breaks. When it's 15 minutes, everyone has to work. At restaurants, people abuse their breaks. Sometimes they, they stay for an extra minute because, what, they get paid shitty money, obviously. But because I'll pay you guys a rich fucking salary, you're living that great life with me, VJ, I expect you to listen to me. You not abuse your breaks, John. At 15 minutes, everyone has to work. Okay, okay, Ivan, yeah. I know you're tempted to abuse your breaks when I'm not there, but don't do that, man. Make sure you, you don't abuse your breaks. I'm paying you guys all the money expecting to work hard, and they won't. They'll listen to me, obviously. Yeah. Will they kick back? Some days they might kick back a little bit. Oh, I don't feel like making this business call. Just to be like, oh, okay. Today I, today, I gotta make, today I gotta make six business calls. I'll make four, and I'll do two tomorrow. They're a bit tired. Sometimes they might kick back a little bit. They're still going to work hard for me. Because they're getting a nice, I don't know, the second guys are getting a nice $20,000 check. The other guys are getting a $50,000 check. John Favre, Dave, Dave Filoni is getting his, like, I don't know, $53,000 check every two weeks. Two point one million salary. John Favre was making his, like, one ninety thousand dollars check every two weeks. They're getting a fat paycheck for the really salary. Yeah, they got their fat bonuses to work hard. They know they're going to make their role easier. They're going to work hard for me, obviously. And John Travel's worth two hundred million now. He's rich. He's bigger now. He's worth two hundred million dollars. What I'm paying him is nothing. I'm not going any hard enough for him. That's good enough. Thirty-four million bonuses is enough. I'm not going any hard enough for him. And one hundred million royalties is enough for him. Obviously, it's enough. He doesn't make that in Hollywood. Hey, let's talk about the girlfriend. Hence why what my scars is going to be the best man in the industry. Yeah, man. Yeah. Now I'll talk about the girlfriend topic. Obviously. There's a high chance this might be the year Ivan O'Mara gets his first girlfriend. That's why I'm going to talk to the chick for a good like three weeks, four weeks before I ask her on a date. If I sense that she's she's not interested in me, she's her, on her body language, she's not interested in me, then I won't ask her on a date. Because I'm scared of getting rejected. Or I might just man up and ask her on a date anyways. I might just man up and ask her on a date anyways. I might just man up and ask her on a date anyways. Obviously. Man up and ask on a date anyways. Obviously, if she's if I sense she's not injuring me, but I don't want to get rejected. That's the thing. Alright, if right, she rejected me, you'd be crushed. Yes, man, I'd be crushed. I'd be crushed. I would think, oh my god, like this, this like like I'm why and I'm why I'm a son of god, this chick still rejecting me. I'm fucking handsome. What like what are you wrong? What's wrong with me? Like, what, 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 why is she reject me? I'm going to start to ask myself all these questions. Why is she reject me? You know, so I'm a son of God. Why is she reject me? I'm going to ask myself all these questions. Obviously. Everyone at work will be shocked. You rejected I don't know. She tells him in French. I rejected Ivan. They're all like, you rejected Ivan? What is wrong with you, man? Oh, my God. You would have felt on top of the world when you're with him, man. Everywhere you go, everyone stares. Like you, you said no to that. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm sorry. I didn't know what to do. That I wasn't ready yet. You're an idiot, man. Like you just, that's your loss, man. Ivan's not gonna. I because you rejected Ivan. Ivan will never ask you on a date ever again. Yes, 
If she rejects me, God forbid, I am never asking you on another date ever again. I'll talk to you at work, but I'm no longer going to flirt with you anymore. I'm, uh, it's over. I'm moving on to another chick, obviously. And if you, I, I must keep saying this. Whenever a chick rejects you, you rub it in her face by picking up a hot chick. That's how you rub it in their face, obviously. You pick up a hot chick and you rub it in their face. That's what I'm saying, yeah. You rub it in their face, obviously. That's what you do. Obviously. You rub it in their face, yeah. Rub it in her face. You rub it in her face. Yeah. If she rejected me, you'd be crushed. Yes, I'd be crushed. Because she rejected, uh, it was questioning my self esteem. Oh my god, I asked the chick on a date, she said no. Like, what did I do wrong? She doesn't like me, she doesn't like me, you know what I'm saying? Am I ugly? Like, you, know, you question yourself. Oh my god, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, uh, what, 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 what did I do wrong? How can this chick reject me? I'm a son of God, I'm a handsome man. How, why did she say no to me? I'm gonna ask myself all these questions. Maybe she has a boyfriend, maybe she just doesn't like you, I don't know. Obviously. And everyone at work will be shocked. Oh my god, this chick's crazy. She rejected Ivan. Or maybe she rejected me to feel good about herself. And how I rejected the son of God and he asked me on a date. Some women do that to make themselves feel good about themselves. So, so some women, when they reject an attractive man, they do it to make, them, to make themselves feel good, obviously. You know, ah, I rejected this attractive man, and he asked me, and I said no. In reality, they wanted to go on a date with that man, but they, but, but they just said no because they want to make themselves feel good. Some women are weird like that. That's a cold, that's a cold truth, man. Some women think the man's super attractive, they like him, obviously, but they reject him just to make themselves feel good. They know the guy's out of their league, obviously, and they reject him to make themselves feel good, obviously. And later on, they regret, I should have said yes. You see what I'm saying, I should have said yes, yeah, obviously. So Sarah, I told you if she rejected me, God forbid, it is over. I am never asking you for your number ever again. I am no longer going to flirt with you. She might be a bit mad. I just not flirt with me anymore. Yeah, man, you rejected me. You crushed me. You rejected me, hence I'm not. I'm not going to flirt with you anymore. And I come to work the next day. I'm all embarrassed. Everyone at work knows. She told everyone I'm gonna. Uh, uh, the worst. The worst day of my life. I'm fucking embarrassed. Cause she fucking rejected me. Oh, I feel like shit. I'm like, man, this chick rejected me, man. I feel like total shit. I'm, uh, I'm moving on. I'm saying, yeah. I'll see. But if she rejects me, I'll be scared to ask for another chick's number because one of that other chick rejects me too. <laughs> I get rejected two times in a row. That means something's not right, obviously. Another reason potentially you could reject me because she sees hell. <laughs> All the women in the world see hell. The chick sees hell, obviously, when she dreams. Obviously. She sees uh, hell, obviously. She sees hell. So, Zara? Yeah. Oh no. One percent chance she says no. Ninety-nine percent chance she says yes. <laughs> How can you deny this handsome face, man? How can you deny it? How can you deny this handsome face? Yeah, man. You say yes to all these other handsome men who are normal. How can you say yes? How can you say no to the to, to a handsome man who's the son of God, who has a God gene? How can you deny this face, man? How can you deny this handsome face? Yeah, man. Yeah.
How can you not? It's handsome face, yeah. Oh, I gotta work three days in a row, man. Word. I get paid. Once I get, once I have money, I won't mind working because I know after work I can get my beer and smokes. Make my video. I can make my video and have my beer and my smokes. It's not that bad, obviously. I think today will be the day I get, I'll, I'll be able to work on the car. Clean the two cars for $15, I can get myself a 20 hour bag of smokes. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Alright, you think she likes you? I hope she does. I hope that she likes me. I hope she doesn't have a boyfriend either. If she has a boyfriend, I'm not going for her. If she has flings, you can still go for her. She's not officially... If, if a girl's fling with someone else, you're not officially dating. Any 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 man can go for her if he wants. It's only when you're officially... It's competition. Only when you're officially dating, that's when you don't go for them. If she has a boyfriend. She's in a relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously. I don't know. A month goes by. I talk to her for the next four weeks. A month goes by, and I sense she likes me, you know, then, you know, I don't know, I talk to her for the next four weeks, I sense that she's, by her body language, she likes me, and I ask her on a day, it's, I don't know, it's a Friday, I work Friday, it's like June 21st, June 22nd, she goes in, in the room, obviously. The best time to ask her on a date is a weekday, when she works on a weekday, don't do it on a weekend, weekends are too busy, you won't have time to ask her on a date, it's too fucking busy. Well, you haven't yet. It's too, too, too busy. Don't ask her on a date um, during on a weekend. It's too busy. Last term end, right? Yeah, don't ask her on a date on, on, on last term end. Ask her on a date on like a Friday. Bon Z, right? That's what that's what Friday is in, in French. Bon Z. Ask her on a date on a Friday. <coughs> yeah. I think she works Fridays. The chick. But it's, it might be different every week. Some weeks some week she might work Wednesday. Some weeks she might work Friday. I don't know. But hopefully she works during a weekday, the day I work. I work every day of the week. Except I only get like one day off during the weekdays. So if, chances are I will see her once once a week during the weekdays. And that's when you ask her on a date. I don't know. Around June 20th, June 22nd, a month from now, June 21st, I ask her on a date. I go in there. I don't know. She goes in the change room and I have my phone ready to go and I go in there. I'm, I'm, I'm like, hey, you done your shift? She's like, yeah, I'm done. I'm like, hey, I'm just wondering. I was just wondering, do you want to go off to dinner sometime? And she's like, what? You know, her French accent, she's like, what? I'm like, do you want to go off to dinner sometime? She's like, it's like, dîner, Yvonne, avec toi? And then souper? I think souper, souper is supper, is, is, is dinner, I think. Dîner is a breakfast in, 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 in French. You can say Tine if you want, but Supe Ivan avec toi? You know what I'm saying? Oui, 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 Supe avec moi. You know what I'm saying? I say Hubert, c'est à You know what I'm saying? And she says, oh, 7 30. I'm like, yeah, 7 30. But don't speak to her in French. If you speak to her in French, you will assume you understand French. Don't do that. Speak to her in English. I only speak a little bit of French. I don't understand. I'm not fluent in French. I'm sorry. Don't speak to me in French. I won't understand you all. She's like, oh my God. You know what I'm saying? She has a French accent. <laughs> 
Oh my god. Was that? Sure, I'll, 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 I'll go out to dinner with you, Ivan. <laughs> Sure, I'll go off to dinner with you, Ivan. I'm saying, okay. How does next Friday at seven thirty sound? Are you are you free now? Are you available next Friday? Don't say are you free. That sounds weird. Are you available next Friday? I'm available this week, Ivan. Yeah, this week is not a good time because I'm running low on cash. You're running low on cash, Ivan. Yeah, I'm running low on cash. I want to go next week when I get paid. I want to go the week I get paid. The the the, the day after I get paid, obviously. And chances are the manager won't make me work a Friday. It's all good. I don't mind working that day. I, 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 I'm I out of there by 3 o'clock. I, I can chill. I'll chill at home for four hours. I get ready for the date. I'm all nervous. I'm saying, <laughs> yeah. She says, sure, I don't want to date with you. Okay, what's your number? You know, I'm saying, yeah, and I get it. She gives me her number, obviously. She's like, what's your number? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what's your number? Yeah, Ivan, my number is 819. 819. This, this, this. This, this, this. You know what I'm saying? And she gives me her, uh, her, 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 what? Her number. And you okay, okay, now that I have your number, I'm going to repeat this. Your number is 819. This, 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 this. Yeah, Ivan, that's my number. Okay, I'll shoot you a text. But did my message go through Ivan? I got your text. Okay, the number you see on that phone, that's my number. But make sure you save my name. Mon no, right? Mon no. And mon numero de telephone. Make sure you save that on your phone. So I'm sorry. Yeah. Make sure you save it on your 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 what? On your uh on your phone. If you text her and she says, who is this? I mean, she did not save your number on your phone. That's a red flag. I mean, she doesn't care about you. Whereas if she likes you, obviously, she'll, you know what I'm saying? No, hey, you know what I'm saying? She'll save your number on your, your number on your phone, on her phone, obviously. If she really likes you. So I'm saying? I know you guys love these videos. You better enjoy it while it's okay. I'm not kidding around. But once I find out I gotta die, be my wife, I'm peacing out when I'm kidding at you. Left behind, you not saved. Ugh, you guys piss me off. Was there? So seven thirty Saint Hubert's next Friday. Oh, Ivan seven thirty Saint Hubert's next Friday. Yeah. So a week from now, Ivan. Yeah, I know. I asked him on a Friday. Next, the following Friday, the end of June, we go on that date. My first ever date. Ivan Ramirez's first ever date with a woman. And that date ends up being the best date of my life. Because I, I know when I'm with her, I'm feeling on top of the world. Everyone's staring at me. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah, I'll talk to you soon. I'll see you later. Yeah, I'll see you later, Ivan. I, I don't know. That very night, I shoot her a text. 
I shoot her like a quick text. And she replies back like, I don't know, 40 minutes later. And I reply back I don't know, like an hour and a half later. Don't hate me, I'm saying. Yeah. I know, I shoot her a text. I'm making a video. She replies back to me like 30 minutes later. And I, 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 I reply back to her after my video. <laughs> After my video, I replied back to him. Don't be an obsessive guy who texts her like crazy. Don't do that. Women like bad boys. I'm saying. But if she likes you, she'll text you occasionally. She'll text you once in a while. She'll text you back, obviously, if she likes you. If she doesn't like you, she won't text you much. If she likes you, she'll text you a lot, obviously. She'll text you either occasionally or quite a bit. She'll text you quite a bit if she likes you. I'm sorry. I'm special, I'm a Sunday guy, I don't hate me, I'm saying yeah. But don't be an obsessive guy who constantly text. I don't know, she texts you like twice and you shoot her like 20 messages. Don't do that, no. You look like an obsessive guy, it doesn't look good on you. She texts you back, answer her like an hour later. And she replies like 30 minutes later, you answer her back like an hour and a half later. So I'm saying, I don't hate me, you know what I'm saying? That way you, you're a bad boy, you're not a fucking nice guy. Women don't like nice guys, I like bad boys. So I'm saying, yeah. Sir, yeah, when the following week comes. I don't know. I text her like ten times. We had like a few, few, few exchanges during the week. I text her like ten times. She answers me like ten, twelve times back. And Friday is the day. Don't tell her I'm excited for Friday. Don't do that. Otherwise, you look like an obsessive nice guy. Just say, you know, what I'm saying, yeah. I don't know. I work Friday. Next Friday happens. I work that day. She works that day. Our shit. All I'm thinking about is that day. Hopefully, this day goes well. She's thinking about, oh my god, I hope this day goes well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I don't know. Some people at work, people at work, everyone at work knows who told everyone. Yeah, I went on a date with Ivy. I'm like, why did you tell them? Oh, my God. Or she keeps it to herself. Because I have the keys, the world will have an idea. You guys will have an idea, obviously, but... You know what I'm saying? Friday happens, a date happens. All I'm thinking about is that date. Hopefully this date goes well. All I'm thinking about that that day is that date when I'm working. She's thinking about that date when, when she's working too. She works Friday, obviously. I'm like, holy shit. Today's the day. I'm going on a date. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm all excited. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to speak, show her that I'm excited, but deep down inside, I'm excited for the date, obviously. Hopefully this date goes well. Hopefully this day goes well. Hopefully this day goes well, obviously. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, my shift's done. My manager's like, oh, Ivan, see you Sunday. I get Saturday off. My manager's like, see you Sunday, Ivan. I get Saturday off. That's why I want to do the day on. Because I think, I think my manager's giving me Saturdays off. That's why I want to do the day on a Friday. Because I know the next day I have Saturday off. And I don't know. She works on Saturday. You know what I'm saying? And then they say, I'm like, I'll see you. I'll see you tonight. I'll see you tonight, Ivan. See you tonight, Ivan. I'm excited. Holy shit, I can't wait for this uh, for the date. And I end my shift. I go home. I, I don't know. On my way home, I buy my beer and my smokes. Obviously, I go to the Ultramar. Chances are, I'll just go to the Ultramar. I don't feel like walking all the way to Wolf of Levine when I have to work. I'm fucking tired after work. Thursday's the exception. Whereby I'll go to Wolf of Levine because I need to. I need to go to the welfare office. I need. To
need to go get my, my, my subway. But, like, all the other days, I'll just buy beer from the Ultramar. I don't feel like walking all the way to the, uh... Because Ultramar is right across from Coco Fui on the other side of the street. Those waffles mean I gotta walk another, like, eight minutes just to get there. It's farther, obviously. You know what I'm saying? I get Ivory and Smokes. I go home. I make a video, obviously. As soon as I got home, I'll make a video. I'll make a video, obviously. When you watch the video, you'll know. I'll watch the video when I come. No, I'll watch it. I'll make a video, then I'll watch it. Or I might watch it when I come. No, I'd rather watch it when I come back for my date. Make my video. I upload it. I take uh, make my video. I upload it. I maybe listen to music, maybe or something. Like that. I'll watch stuff on YouTube. Maybe Neil Tooth, Power Theory. You know what I'm saying? Then I kill time until like six forty. And then six forty happens. I take my shower. You know what I'm saying? I bought my body wash. I bought my shampoo. My dress are done. I look good. I have some of my pre head clothes. I wear my clothes with a nice toque. And I I leave the house around seven ten. And I arrive there at 7.25 and I see her there waiting for me at St. Hubert's. I'm like, holy shit. Or I go there and she's not there yet. And she shows up like three minutes later. She's there. Like 7.28 she came and she looks nice. She wears her nice jeans. I don't know, her short jeans. Her nice casual shoes. She has jean shorts. Tight jean shorts. She has a nice like t-shirt. She, her hair is all down. She looks very nice. I'm like, holy shit, she looks hot. You know what I'm saying? I never saw her looking like this before because you're used to seeing her in, in her work clothes. Because when you see people wear their street clothes, you see how good they really look. You see how good the chick really looks, how good they really look when they wear their street clothes. Whereas when they wear their work clothes, they don't look as, not, as nice because they're wearing their work clothes, obviously. You see what I'm saying? And holy shit, she's hot. She has her long her hair down, her nice, tight, short jean pants, her nice t-shirt. She gives me like a tight hug. Holy shit. I bitch, because you're a tight hug, yeah. She's my kind of girl. 